Savior, Jesus Christ. I find a couple of the images that are in today's scripture readings uh, particularly helpful and uh, meaningful. Uh, the first one comes from the gospel reading for today. When Jesus says, I am the way. Now, that word way, um, a path, a route, a direction to go. Many of you may be aware, uh, for example, of the kind of philosophical, religious uh, movement uh, that grew up in China, known as Taoism, uh, kind of the counterpart of Confucianism. And uh, the Chinese word Tao means way. And Taoism was a, 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 an approach that suggested that there is a way to live that is in the natural harmony with the world. Um, and that that is something that can be followed. Um, and that the, the whole word or the concept of the way um, is important not just to Taoism. Um, many of you probably already know that at least according to the Book of Acts, uh, those of us here who would call ourselves Christians, we as a group of people have not always been known as Christians. Shortly after the time that Jesus uh, ascended back into heaven, um, the book of Acts tells us that those who were followers of Jesus were known as followers of the way. It's repeated several times in the book of Acts, um, and it's not until actually later that we're told that it was in the city of Antioch that those who were followers of Jesus came to be known as Christians. Because those early, those early followers of Jesus recognized that he was indeed the way to God's gifts of grace and mercy and life. The second image comes from the New Testament reading uh, that Joseph did just a couple of minutes ago. Um, it makes reference first to a single living stone. And in that description of a living stone, uh, Peter, who wrote that particular letter, is referring to Jesus. A living stone. Jesus, the rock of our salvation, the one on whom the church is built. But Peter goes on to say that people are actually living stones connected to the living stone. Now, I don't know what your Im first impression might be of thinking about stones being alive. Could be a scary thought, right? Uh, the, cart the cartoons would have a great time with that, with these mean-looking rocks uh, doing all kinds of nasty kinds of things. And you think, uh, I don't want those living stones coming anywhere near me. But God's intention with living stones is to build something beautiful. You may be aware, many of you uh, may be aware of this uh, little uh, kind of kids thing that starts out like this. Here is the church. Here is the steeple. Open the doors and see all the people. 
you can entertain small children for a long time. <laughs> um, or uh, very similar to the hymn, it's actually in our Brown hymnal here, I think it's number 245, uh, We Are the Church is the, the title of it, and the first verse of that says, the church is not a building, the church is not a steeple, the church is not a resting place, the church is a, a people. Living stones is what the church is. Um, I haven't actually checked, you know, what's behind the white walls here, but uh, at any rate up here, it's pretty obvious that uh, this particular church has been built out of some bricks. Maybe even the entirety of it. Um, nice little manufactured uh, bits of clay and water and stuff put together in a special way to make a nice hard brick and, and a little mortar thrown in between them and you stack them up and Whoa, they stay there. Incredible. Um, when I was growing up, my father often said that if my older brother and I were to ever start a construction company, my older brother was to be in charge of construction. And me, the younger brother, would more likely be in charge of demolition. <laughs> My father, I think, was right. Um, I'm impressed when people can actually put together a wall, a building, and it stays there. Um, I think of some of the big cathedrals, particularly in Europe, for example, that have been there for hundreds of years. Huge stones put together with very primitive equipment and they're still there. Vaulted roofs and the whole works continues to stand strong <clears throat> and secure. But God was not primarily interested in constructing the church to be nice buildings. God was much more interested in building the church out of living stones out of you and me and all of God's people everywhere in creation. In order that we might actually be people built into the way of living stones that other people are able to see in us a way to find God's gift of life. <clears throat> to find the fullness of God's grace and mercy given to us. To discover just how God is at work in our world using living stones to bring about God's purposes for life. We are called, I think, to be a part of the way of living stones that bring and enable people to find that path that leads to life. That path which leads to God's gift of life. Life now and life forever. Uh, and I love the descriptions that, that the writer of 1 Peter um, includes. It's on page 3 in the worship folder, uh, which Joseph read a little bit ago. Particularly verse 9. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, living stones you are, 